in a cab driver, you're sort of the horse, the jockey, and the better all at once, all rolled into one. I mean, you're gambling on yourself. You know, you're able to get out and drive when you want to, you know, whatever hours you want to, and um, as long as you make that lease payment each week. A lot of a lot of drivers really give up, uh, and uh, because it's very hard to make that lease amount. The whole system—it's a kind of sharecropping uh, system, really. When to sleep—that's a big, uh, a big difficulty—is getting enough rest at this, you know, because most cab drivers do the do this full time or at a full time. You'll see you, at least a couple of guys. You know, they're resting. They're, just, they're catching up on sleep because they're, you know, they're gonna, from there they're going to go out, you know, and drive for another six, eight hours because they have to. You know, they really have to if they want to make ends meet at this. One thing I didn't expect was to be exposed to uh, some of the kind of people that uh, I've been exposed to people that their whole lives, I mean, I'm not trying to sound judgmental, they're, they're just not going to get it. They're just going to need some kind of help their whole lives. Uh, they just need help. I didn't expect people to like talking so much. You know, when I've ridden in taxi cabs, I usually just sit there and take in the ride, you know, but uh, it's a kind of rolling confessional booth. Um, you sit in it, you're kind of set up that way. I mean, your back is to them, and they're just kind of this voice in the dark. Um, sometimes, you know, a lot of things you don't really want to hear, you're not really kind of, you know, I just got diagnosed with cancer, I'm going to die, kind of stuff. You, know, you pick them up at the hospital, and three blocks away, they have to, you know, deal with that fellow that I picked up and uh, was I was taking him to his parole officer or from his parole officer home and uh, he had held up a bank and, and he took the money right from the bank and walked right to the police station and turned himself in and I said well, why you know you sound like you were getting away clean you know he says well I just needed the fix and he just goes on in front of you and it do, you just don't really realize it's happening, you know, unless you, you get some hint of it when you pick up the newspaper of, of what people are really going through. Uh, very interesting. It's nice, you know, in a way, I, I like it. Uh, you know, you get this beautiful sunrise in the morning and some great guys, really terrific people driving cabs. I just